So let's just address the elephant in the room, accessibility. That is our problem right now. So I want to ask you, how have you seen accessibility being met, the disadvantages, the problems that come, the shortcomings, technology gaps and things like that for schools that are not exactly as provided and of course not as flourishing as uh, you would expect normal Colombo schools to be. So how do you think accessibility problems and issues have been met in the real world as we speak? Um, yeah. Um, anyone? Yeah. So if I can take this. Uh, so accessibility, I think we can further you know, narrow that down to three aspects. It's not, when you say accessibility, we are talking about a connectivity, be the device, and three, electricity, like we mentioned earlier. So there are families with maybe you know, uh, not having all three of them. There may be families just having the device but no connectivity. Or there may be families having connectivity and one device but several children. So these are issues which we faced in, you know, in my experience. And again, Buddhika can add on to that. So speaking, so taking into account accessibility, uh, it's a it's a massive issue, uh, and from personal experience, I know of parents who, to get a Wi-Fi connection to download whatever worksheet or whatever has been sent, they had to climb their roof to, you know, a better signal issue. But and I, it's clearly the main problem when we talk about uh, online education. But then on the other side, we need to remember that Sri Lanka as a whole according to the maybe 2019 census uh, statistics, we've had 10 million mobile connections, 47% uh, internet access, and 31 million uh, mobile phones registered in the country, and with 71% broadband capability. So yes, accessibility is an issue, but there may be also something uh, you know, more, more to that. But I think there is also a lack of uh, understanding of how uh, technology can be used for better and certainly for education.